So yeah, I believe this is the toughest part of being at home. That is cooking your own dinner. It is fun to cook it once, it's fun to cook it twice, but doing it daily, it's difficult. And it is not just dinner. You have to cook your breakfast, you have to prepare your lunch, and also your Moments like this, you kind of realize the importance and the amount of hard work that our moms put, you know, and they have been doing it for 20 plus years, almost not having a break, maybe once in a six months or like that break. So hats off to all the moms out there. Next difficult part is to decide what should I cook because I don't know about others, but I'm not a very planned person. Uh, whenever I get hungry, uh, that is the time I come to the kitchen and then I decide what is that I should cook for the day. So yeah, let me just see what I have in the fridge, in my cupboards or something I've prepared for lunch and I can just, you know, and cash that. In the fridge and you see things are stuffed up on the milk. Yeah, it's very tempting, you know to just have milk and the bread but what else to have with that this peanut butter but I have in the morning so I don't think there is mangoes and of course there is this lemon I think in every Indian household you know this pot is used to keep the lemons if you are not keeping the lemons over here and back to you know the half cut lemons I think and not I think, I think this should be a new test for you know anti-national test over here but what to cook I don't know I think I have to cook something else let me see what I have here nothing significant you see the name of the suji is Naga <laughs> I mean that's kind of funny because I don't know why it's funny but it's funny. So I have chapati here, I can cook that. Yeah, I think that is something I can cook for the night and I have to figure out that what to cook for, you know, the next thing. So yeah, first of all, you know, preparing the chapati is a very difficult job and requires a lot of expertise. I think I become I've become a bit expert in this now. Uh, so yeah. What shall we do first? You know these dishes. Shit. This is I feel this is the another worst part of my job. Or not my job per se, but you know staying at home. <sighs> Cooking, washing, these are the difficult tasks in life, you know. Oh my god, by looking at it and thinking that you know, I have to wash all this in the morning. Oh my god, it gives me, you know, shivers right now. Water and I washed my hands also. So, we'll start preparing this chapati. So now, I'm starting to, you know, make the dough. So, a lot of things, you know, the fluffiness of the chapati, the roti they're going to prepare lies on this thing this very initial stages you know uh, they say that morning shows the day right and i think something similar needs to be applied over here but you know the way you dial the amount of water you put is all of these things is going to make it fluffier so thing yeah of cooking a chapati is the balance between the atta and the water and I have clearly messed it up. You know, it's my daily challenge to have this balance. So now, what shall I do? My next logical step is, you have guessed it right, put more atta. So, you know, I think they should have some beaker or something where you know, we can keep putting the atta and try to figure out how it then. So, let's see how that pans out.
so yeah and now this is another step that i'm going to do where you know it has become more see shit all the time this balance is so difficult to find but don't worry i have found a hack where what i do is take these part out and you know use these part for preparing my chapati okay so it is asking for a bit of a water so we'll put that halka sa water this is in hindi there is a saying savdhan ta hati dil ka tana ghati so i think this is something like this where the savdhanata has been hatted sorry so savdhanata hat gayi hai aur dil ka tana kat gayi hai to ye shall see la jal jayega the roti was supposed to be made for you know four chapatis but unfortunately it is going to be yeah the dough is prepared and as i told you i have kept aside some of the atta that will be used while preparing the chapati so i'll just keep it you know for some 5 10 minutes let it uh, you know be there for some time so i have heard apparently this is one of the kitchen hacks that if you keep it for some time it lets the air bubbles go well inside and apparently your roti is going to be uh, softer this is the truth or not i don't know i just read it on the internet because the internet said so. so yeah so now that this has been prepared oh my god it got stuck but anyways i will manage so now what you have to do is you have to do something like this okay i don't know why people do it but apparently this helps you to make that round round shape so now i am eating whatever how many chapati chapatis you want to eat you can make that many spheres so you do it like this and you see the chapati ball has been prepared so keep doing this for you know how many ever you want to eat and you'll have that many number of chapatis uh, ready for you the one advantage you know that uh, happens by you know getting that mix of water and the atta wrong is there is something extra dough is you know left and you know what that means i don't have to do this tomorrow yes this is going to go into my fridge and yeah so tomorrow i don't have to do this hectic process of preparing this dough i'll be just doing this process and be ready with preparing chapatis that's cool the gas has been lit and i will put my tawa on top of this yeah and we'll keep for some time you know but we'll let it eat for some time because in the meantime i will just flatten up the chapatis the very essential ingredient not an ingredient per se but equipment or whatever the utensils yeah that's the one utensils to prepare chapatis this way without this chapati cannot be prepared i believe yeah there are hacks but this belan whatever this is called i forgot the name very important for preparing the chapati so like i said earlier this that i you know kept it this is something that i will use you know flatten out the surface yes in the video that is something i will use to flatten out the surface and then take one of these uh i think the water is too much over so I just want you guys through one of the tutorials. Not tutorials, sorry. Just a fun way to cook chapati. So when I started cooking chapati, uh, this does not not used to be around. When today it is not that round, 
పెడతామా ఇట్స్ ఇస్ వే బెటర్ దెన్ వాట్ ఇట్ వాజ్ యూ వన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ బ్యాక్ ఇట్ వాస్ ఇస్ వే బెటర్ దెన్ వాట్ ఇట్ యూస్ టు బి యు నో టు త్రీ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ సో యా ఐ థింక్ వి ఆర్ సమ్వర్ క్లోజ్ అప్ దట్ and it gets stuck somehow so these are some hacks you have to learn it on the way that we know what to do is going to teach you this so these are some of the hacks that your mom is going to teach you you can figure it out just like that so I'm just going to show you how much about it looks uh, not exactly round but close enough I think this will do for you I forgot to you know to do this turning here and there and see it has become like this but anyways we all can all figure out a way so what i do is you know it's better to have a proper way of you know getting this but i think this is much faster for me i do like this and do it like this sorry that's it it is done oh shit it burned but I think we're a good one and not make a video maybe focus on preparing the chapat and I hope this turns out to be you know better than the first one as you can see it's not round but again at the end of the day it is going to go in a tummy so no matter it is round or flat or square it should be edible enough turned out to be okay okay you know better than the last one three chapatis are prepared and I think we are ready for the dinner because i found out there is a curry that is left in the fridge we're going to have i'm going to have that this motivation that i don't have to cook the chapati tomorrow so yeah uh, that's about it uh, you know i hope you had a fun time watching me do some stupid and silly stuff uh, this is my way of becoming atmanirbhar and if you don't know cooking uh, i definitely recommend you learn it because you know it's a very very essential life skill you won't be making the best of the foods but you know when you're staying away from home uh, and you cook something on your out of own hands and uh, even if it tastes shit it is going to taste awesome to you so yeah do it for yourself atmanirbhar bane roti banaiye aur fir milte hain kal tab tak ke liye bye bye and yeah if you find this funny silly stupid whatever just give a like button just click the like button uh, and yeah, if i'm putting it on youtube uh, please share and subscribe i know the most cliched lines ever said uh, the very idea of doing uh, this vlog is you know I, for the lockdown for the past two months i have been watching a lot of vlogs and uh, i find those vlogs to be very interesting i don't know if i'll be doing it or not but and whether my contents are going to be interesting or not but i thought definitely it's a uh, Uh, you know thing worth trying because i try almost everything i believe that you should uh, try everything in life so yeah a lot of gyan thank you good night bye bye S- stay home stay safe take care